all right for the account verification process we are actually going to send the verification email to the user with the activation link okay so the activation link will contain a token so that uh, uh, so that the link will automatically gets expired after the verification is done okay so this is actually the safest way of activating the users so uh, to do this uh, you know it's uh, not very complicated uh, so few things to uh, consider uh, when we are doing this first of all we uh, we need the current site we need to know how to get the current site okay current site and uh, generating tokens and all those stuff so i'll try to explain as much as uh, you know as much as i can all right so uh, first of all let's just start with uh, this comment user activation so this user activation actually we should uh, after we save the uh, save this uh, user object okay so here and first of all let's uh, say current site so we need to get the current site it, it is because uh, right now we are using the local host but uh, in future we are going to uh, we don't know we we may uh, we may use a different kind of domains all right so that's why we need to first get the current site get current site so we can get it with this request okay and the mail subject also mail subject is equal to uh, we'll say please activate your account and then we'll say message is equal to render render underscore to underscore string render to string so in this uh, render to string we have to pass uh, the template okay template in the sense uh, uh, the content which we are going to send uh, send in the email okay so uh, in short we can say it is the email body so email body instead of uh, we writing it here okay so hi uh, uh, please uh, verify and all here instead of writing it here we will uh, say uh, we will make a html html template for that okay so uh, stm uh, you know uh, accounts slash maybe account verification email dot html okay so this html in future if you want to style you can style it okay currently it does not exist we will uh, we will you know we will make it okay so uh, open a uh, uh, curly braces now put an enter so inside here we are going to pass uh, some values here okay so user colon user then actually this is the user object okay so because uh, we in inside the verification email we want to tell the uh, you know we want to tell the uh, user that uh, i space uh, arathan or something like that right so so that we can uh, we can type user dot first name like that in the template so that's why we, we need to pass this user and also we will be needing the primary key of this uh, uh, user so that's why we need user and we need domain okay so domain is equal to uh, not equal to it is a colon current site so this current site we just got and then we need this uh, something called uid okay so this uid is actually a uh, url safe underscore base 64 underscore encode and inside this force underscore bytes of user dot pk actually what we are doing is we are actually uh, encoding this user id okay with this uh, uh, url safe uh, base64 encode okay uh, so that uh, nobody can see the uh, primary key okay so uh, so that's why so uh, from here we are encoding the primary key and when we are activating this uh, activating the account we will actually decode it okay for now we are working with the encode okay so uh, once this is done and uh, we will also need a token so 
कोलन डिफॉल्ट टोकन जनरेटर टोकन अंडरस्कोर जनरेटर डॉट मेक टोकन ओके सो दिस डिफॉल्ट टोकन जनरेटर विल एक्चुअली क्रिएट अ Uh, you know uh, i mean uh, this is actually the library and uh, this it has the make token and check token uh, functions okay so this uh, check to you know make token will actually create a token of the user okay we are going to pass the user itself in inside this make token function so that it will create a a, a token for this particular user okay so and while we are checking it in the later stages so we will use a, a check token okay so for now we are creating a, a token and all this once once all these things are done okay so we will uh, now send the email okay send the email to where uh, you know we need a two address right we can say to email is equal to the email okay so we got the email here okay so this email address we are going to send and let's say send underscore email is equal to email message and mail subject okay in this email message uh, uh, function we are going to send uh, send some uh, parameters the first one is a mail subject and then we need the message itself okay so this message and we need to send the two is equal to the list of two addresses okay so two email can be multiple so this is two email so this one so now we are ready to fire the email so now uh, if you say uh, send email dot uh, you know send so this will send the email so before we do that we actually need to configure the email okay so we did not uh, configure the smtp yet so we will do that so before that we need uh, need to uh, create this uh, uh, account verification email.html file okay and we also need to get uh, you know bring all these things uh, get current site uh, render to string and then url safe base uh, base and code your uh, def default token generator and all those stuff and the force bytes also we need so we need to bring them in so let's uh, uh, go to the top of the page and let's say verification an email first of all let's say from um, from django dot contrib dot sites uh, it is sites dot shortcuts import get current site okay and uh, next uh, we will say once this is done we need a render to string right so render to string actually comes from from django dot HTML not HTML I think it is a template dot loader import render to string then what else render to string is done current site is done uh, URL base 64 encode okay uh, from Django.utils.http uh, HTTP import URL safe base64 encode as well as we will uh, import uh, URL safe base64 decode okay so we will use a decode later but uh, let's bring it in here okay so then we need this force bytes from Django dot utils dot encoding import force bytes. Um, what else? Uh, default token generator, right? I think uh, Django dot 
contrib dot auth dot tokens okay auth dot tokens import default token generator right and last we need this email message so this email message comes from django django core mail right go dot core dot mail import port email message all right so so that's it from here okay so we need to create this one now uh, copy this and inside the accounts a folder templates accounts and create a new file name it uh, account verification email dot html okay inside this uh, we'll say auto escape off okay this is the tag and auto escape so actually we need we use this uh, auto escape uh, uh, off it is because uh, we are going to render the html inside this one right so actually this is the safest way of uh, uh, rendering the html uh, uh, when we are sending the uh, emails okay so uh, if you want to know more about this auto escape off then let me show you so see uh, is auto escape off in django safe see actually this is the protection against the cross site script scripting okay uh, i think uh, some people think that it it will give you protection against sql injection but uh, some people don't agree with this so uh, maybe i'm not sure about this one but uh, i know this uh, actually auto escape uh, uh, you know it uh, gives you a protection with the cross site scripting all right uh, so that's how it is but we actually uh, we actually use this in the uh, email templates okay so uh, here uh, we can start writing the mail 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 body okay i user dot first name and one comma here please please so uh, click on below link to confirm your registration okay under this we need to form a uh, you know link now so this is a http colon slash slash now print the domain okay and then uh, this uh, uh, url which does not exist yet url this is activate okay so when the user click on this link so he should go to the activate uh, I mean the activate uh, view uh, we are yet to create this one now so and this uh, with the activate link we will be uh, passing the UID and the token okay UID I mean the UIDB 64 is equal to UID space token is equal to token okay so uh, that's it and uh, for the formality we'll just say if you think it's not you please ignore this email okay so uh, we have to create this uh, activate but before uh, creating this activate we just have to uh, make a uh, you know uh, set configure a smtp uh, anyways let's go to this uh, uh, great cart main folder and go to the settings okay in the settings uh, bottom of the page uh, we need to configure the email host and all here so smtp smtp configuration First, we need email host 
I am using uh, SM, you know gmail.com so I am using this smtp dot gmail dot com and then the email uh, sorry in the caps letter email underscore port equal to for the for the gmail it is a 587 okay if you're using different uh, host then uh, maybe the port number will be different now the email underscore host uh, host underscore user is equal to uh, your email address it is uh, one of my dummy email address at then dot kumar zero four nine at gmail.com and email underscore host underscore password and here you should put your uh, password okay I will um, I will put this soft camera and this this is email underscore use underscore tls is equal to true okay so put your password here okay once uh, you put the password uh, then your uh, you know this uh, smtp configuration is completed